I think the reason that the ordinary consumer thinks that our industry is not regulated is because that is also repeated through the media. It's repeated regularly. We are not an unregulated industry, and actually we agree with a lot of the regulations that we follow. So in advocacy, we want to ensure that Congress knows this. Dietary supplements are a special category of food. They're one of the highest regulated. I think the only one that might be more highly regulated would be shellfish. Uh, but it, So it's a very highly regulated food category. And the regulation is very similar to over-the-counter drugs in terms of regular foods, there's no adverse event reporting if someone thinks there's a problem and made them sick. On dietary supplements and over-the-counter drugs, there, there is. Uh, there's not pre-market approval, that's true, but that doesn't mean that the FDA is not scrutinizing ingredients. Our mission is to provide products and services to empower people to lead healthy lives. And advocacy's role in that mission is to ensure there are not uh, laws or regulations that would keep us from being able to provide those products and services for our customers. What we're seeing is that consumers are growing in their confidence in the products and their usage is increasing as well. In our most recent consumer survey, we learned that over 76% of Americans are using dietary supplements. The national products industry is making products that people want. It is, the products are safe, the public really wants them, and the government cannot tell them what they can make and what they can't make. However, the FDA has full authority to remove products that are unsafe. So if someone does put something on the market, it's not what it says it is or whatever, the FDA can pull it off. We have consistently advocated for more funds for the federal government to enforce the laws so that we don't need new laws, we need new funding to enforce the laws we have. When I think of exemplary companies in this industry, I think of Now Foods, particularly when it comes to the advocacy work we do on behalf of the industry. Now Foods has been at the forefront of helping us develop our economic analysis uh, of how the industry has a role in helping to benefit uh, consumers and healthcare. They've also been active uh, on Capitol Hill. The dietary supplement industry has come a long way in the last 25 years since the passage of the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, but there are always external threats to the industry. People who would like to pass legislation to restrict access to these products, to make it harder to manufacture the products, and deny consumers truthful information about what dietary supplements do. So it's very important that the industry, through the trade association, maintain a, a very strong defense against these kinds of efforts and also have a proactive story to tell to consumers and to policymakers about the benefits that these products offer.